I'm staying in the recovery house for seven days. And um, the recovery house that I, the recovery house that I chose um, is called a doll's recovery house. I, I went to all of the Instagrams and I just saw, I saw what they're about. I just pretty much narrowed it down to doll's recovery house. I, I really don't have a specific reason. Like there's not a specific reason why, but it's just, I just looked at the Instagrams and I just chose doll's recovery house because I felt like I was vibing with them better. The recovery houses, um, they come with breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. And they also come with transportation and a caregiver as well. They also take you to and from your appointments. Um, so once you pay for a recovery house, like the whole package is there. I actually plan on staying in Miami for an extra three days. So I'm going to be, I've already booked my hotel after my recovery stay ends. So I'll be traveling. I've already booked my flight and everything. I'll be traveling and my surgery is on a Wednesday. I'll be traveling in on Tuesday, early in the morning. I have the first flight. It's at like 5.30 a.m. So I'm going to be traveling early in the morning to get there early um, for my pre-op appointment. You, you must have a pre-op appointment and you must be there a day before surgery or your surgery will be canceled. So Anyways, I'm going to be flying in on that Tuesday. I'm going to have a hotel. I'm, I'm going to be staying in a hotel for that night. I don't want to start using my recovery days until I have gone through surgery. So my, my recovery house days until I've gone through surgery. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so after my surgery, that's when I'm going to start staying in the dolls in the dolls recovery house. And then after six days, which is going to follow follow up on, I think, that would be, sorry, seven days, it would be the next Wednesday. Um, I'm going to check into a, a hotel by the beach, and I'll be in the hotel for the next three days. I still want to stay there and let my body relax, you know, before I'm moving around too much and getting on an airplane. So, I don't want to make this video too long, but I have so much information to give you guys. Gosh, um, but I'm going to make it short. And then I'm going to kind of make another video later and make that about a different, like, more information about surgery. Oh my god, I so totally forgot. I need to talk about the pre-op clearance and, like, all that. Gosh, let me talk about that. So, you need to get a medical clearance letter from either your primary care doctor or you can go to any urgent care facility to get that done, any urgent care facility, any prime, um, primary care, primary care, that's what it's called, primary care facilities to get that done. Now, if you don't have insurance, it's going to be expensive. I don't have insurance. Um, I just don't have insurance. So it's expensive. It's very expensive. Um, you have to get blood work done. Blood work is uh, it can be done at any lab core or quest diagnostics in your area the surgeon is going to give you a lab order paper she emailed it to me my, surg my surgical coordinator emailed that to me and i printed it off and i took it with me to my um appointment with um quest diagnostics they draw blood they do labs you must bring that paper with you you must bring that paper with you because they cannot perform any labs just because you walk in there and say, I want to get labs done, no, it has to be um, from a doctor. And they need to actually send results somewhere. So uh, make sure that you have your paper with you. I pretty much went there and I did self-pay. They submitted my results to my doctor. And I paid about four, over four, like almost $500 for those labs. Like, it was expensive. That same day, I went to um, this place in Dallas called Complete Med Care. And I was calling around, I was calling all the urgent care, I was calling all the primary, uh, primary cares, and they, I was asking if uh, how much it was for a medical clearance and if they performed those. Um, most of them did not, it was weird. Um, I only found stumbled upon like a couple. 
Um, so mind you, with the medical clearance, you have to get an EKG. So the doctor has to do an EKG and, you know, it has to come back normal. And um, he has to clear you for surgery. It has to be a real letter clearing you for surgery. And it needs to be faxed in to me at Aesthetics and, um, so they can give it to the doctor and you can have surgery. So um, I went to complete med care. Um, I think most urgent cares and most primary cares in different cities, they do medical clearance, medical clearances and medical clearance exams. But I don't know what was up with Dallas. They just... Most of them just didn't just didn't do that. So I went there. That he and he did my EKG. Everything cost me about one hundred and forty dollars. It wasn't bad at all. The labs were expensive, which it, they're expensive everywhere. They're expensive here too. Okay. Also, I would suggest that. Um, like find like go to your if you don't have a PCP um, if you have a PCP go to the PCP and get all your stuff done if you don't have a PCP then find a doctor or go to a primary care or urgent care if they do medical clearance exams and try and get everything done at once if it's not too expensive if it's too expensive then I would do the lab core or quest diagnosis maybe it's cheaper in your area but, um, yeah, you just want to research. Do the research. It was expensive for me. I'm not even going to lie. So, that's that. So, there's a lot of medications that you're not supposed to take, and your medical coordinator will send you that information. But, um, honestly, even just, like, taking some nursing courses, the main one that you should not be taking are, like, NSAIDs acetaminophen, ibuprofen, those are blood thinners, and you do not want to take those before surgery because you will lose a lot of blood. So that's, I would just make sure that I'm paying more attention to just not taking me those medications at least 30 days prior to surgery. So um, my concierge sent me like accessories needed that was included in my package. So this is just for people um, who don't get the package the package that I get like if if you're not doing the promotional package or if you are doing it at a later time where the promotion is not available um, they also have a special three massages for $150 or once or or one massage for $60 massages are very important y'all so make sure that you're booking your massages and um, getting them done it helps you drain all the fluids out of your body and helps every get everything smooth. I'm even looking for a masseuse here in Midland. So once I get back here, um, I'm on my, my massages. I'm making sure that they're done. Y'all, don't smoke before surgery. I would say, it says that you're not allowed to smoke before weeks prior to surgery. I don't smoke, but I know people smoke hookah and all that. And that can really... Um, alter the repair process because sometimes it can have um you know chemicals in there and it, which are harsh for the body hookah i i i love hookah okay so you know even even for me to say it's off limits so i'm not smoking hookah i haven't been smoking hookah for like two weeks now so you know that's that no sun exposure um, no alcohol seven days before surgery. So, no alcohol too, ladies. <laughs> and if you gain more than five pounds between the time the surgeon evaluated your pictures and everything and your actual surgery, your surgery date, your procedure may be canceled unless you are gaining weight for gaining weight purposes. Like, like if your surgeon told you that he wants you to gain weight for the surgery. But girl, me, I don't need to gain any more weight. So I'm I'm at a good weight. He has enough fat to work with. And I'll be putting some before and after pictures up in another video. So be on the lookout for that. So from today, my surgery is a week and and um, four days. I'm excited. It's getting closer, closer to that date. I'm making sure that I'm dieting. I'm exercising. 
I might at least exercise in three days a week. Um, cause I just want to make sure I lose 15 pounds before my surgery. I want to get some good results. Um, surgery is not just like, it's not a miracle procedure. Like I will tell you that right now, I don't have to have surgery to know that. All you have to do is just look, look at the results, listen to your surgeon. Everyone's results is different, but I'm working out and I'm dieting just for the simple fact because I want to make sure that I'm getting good results. The surgery is ju it's just for me. It's just like a pedestal for me to like, it's for, like to just help me get to like where I want to be. So it's not, I'm, I'm not going to like be a bad bitch in one day. Like it's, it's, that's, it's not going to happen. That's not how it works. Anyways, I feel like I've bombarded y'all and gave y'all so much information. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you liked my video. Um, please thumbs it up. Please um, subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Um, anybody who's looking for extra questions, you are free to ask me any questions. Whatever you guys want to say, do whatever. I'm here to listen. I'm here to give you um, the best knowledge that I, you know, that I can. So, um, that is it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.